What's good YouTube? You're back on S Motorsports. Today we're going to be installing the crankshaft on my 6.0 LS build. Like I said guys, today we're gonna to be installing the crankshaft into the 6.0 LS build for the Trans Am. So we are making some headway. I got a few extra things to throw on as well, miscellaneous kind of parts, but the main thing is the King Racing crankshaft bearings and the crankshaft is gonna be going in this engine and I got it all prepped, ready to go. So let's knock out a few of the extra miscellaneous pieces that I have, um, which is just some ICT billet um mounting adapter plates i want to get those on dress it up a little bit um and i also got this improved racing uh billet barbell uh to replace the stock plastic ones as this is supposed to be a a good upgrade that you might as well do when you're in there so let's have at her first let's throw on these ict billet small block to ls engine swap brackets uh, I think this is the part number, 551628, but I'll put all the links in the description for everything that I'm using today. So let's get these installed. All right, next we're gonna pop open the uh, king bearings. And what I got here are the side bolts for new side bolts, because you need new ones, um, because they have a sealant or a Loctite basically um, on this surface to seal off the block. And uh, these are new bolts for the main caps. And then, so the star of the show is the king racing bearings. Okay, so these are the uh, center ones for the thrust bearings. And what I ended up getting is, what I got is their bi-metal bearings. Um, looking at their site, this seemed like the best fit for the build that I'm doing. The tri-metal bearings are, looked like they were more for, for higher horsepower builds and you know sustained like dirt racing and stuff like that. These basically soak up more contaminants if you get it in the oil. Um, and are better suited for basically street builds. So that's what I went with, right or wrong. So let's get these installed and then we can drop the crankshaft in. And what we're gonna do is measure the clearance with a little bit of plastic gauge just to get an idea where we're at. Just like the street lights lit this time Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out so now I'm going to drop the crankshaft in, but I'm not going to put any oil on these. And I'm not going to spin it um, as I don't want the oil to uh, affect my reading with the plastic gauge.
Now I will throw the caps back on with a little bit of plastic gauge. I think I'm gonna do what's the main, the main center cap and uh, maybe the rear one just to get an idea of where we're at. So what you do is cut a little piece off of your plastic gauge and then open it up. And what it is is just a little piece of wax and it's very tiny, but that's all it is. A little piece of wax and we're just gonna place this on the crankshaft right there. Right in the middle. I hope it doesn't stick to my finger it is. There we go. Just drop it on. I also picked up this angle gauge from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description for torquing you know, some of the LS bolts um, as they do need angle measurements. So well, let's see how this works. Kind of heard mixed reviews, so I'm gonna give it a shot though. Well, this is the piece of junk. Don't buy it. It doesn't spin. It's it's too tight and it, it doesn't even spin. It, it doesn't work. I'm tossing this in the trash and figure out what to do. All right, so I did torque these bolts basically to half. I kind of just estimated the angle measurement about half just to get them fairly tight so we could kind of check the uh, plastic gauge. I know you're supposed to go full uh, tight, but I don't want to risk breaking a bolt right now. So we're just kind of getting the ballpark and that'll be good enough. All right, so what you do is you basically hold up the plastic gauge chart and you hold it um hopefully that focuses but basically it's kind of hard to see but like on on the main center cap i look like i'm basically in the two to not quite one and a half thou so i'm probably right in between that i'm at like 175 which is which is pretty good um so here on this one number four we're at basically like two thou, definitely not the one and a half. So it's probably hard to see on camera as it's probably not gonna focus very well, but we're kind of right in between that. So that's right in line where we need to be at for tolerances as I'm, I'm gonna run what, you know, 5W30 in this thing, which will be perfect for those clearances. All right, I got the crankshaft back out. I got the plastic gauge off. What I'm using is a Redline uh, assembly lube. I've had this for a while. I used this on my last small block Chevy rebuild for the Trans Am. Seemed to work pretty good. I'm gonna put that on the bearings and put the crankshaft back in so it protects it as it's gonna probably sit a little bit before it goes back into the Trans Am. Okay guys, next we gotta set the crankshaft end play, which is controlled by the center number three bearing. And you basically just hit the crankshaft back and forth to get that set and aligned perfectly flat. Uh, and then we will check that as well, uh, how much end play we have. All right, now we're gonna check the end play, crankshaft end play. I got my dial indicator set up. So what you need to do is basically force it one direction, and kind of pry a little bit. This might be, I have to get a, something a little smaller. I'm gonna use my big screwdriver. Force it one way, center it, push it back the other way. Looks like it's almost 3,000. Basically, just over 3,000, which is pretty good. One eternity later. Okay, you guys, so what I ended up doing 
is super gluing this gauge so it couldn't rotate in between between the socket and I removed the spring that was in there. So basically this just freewheels now. Um, and so what I'm doing, I tried it on the first two here, main caps, got the center ones done. Um, I uh, am just holding it and torquing it and that actually is working pretty good. So now we're on to this number four. I'll show you what I'm doing. So you gotta just kinda get it positioned where I want it. I get it basically tight and I have it at zero marking on the dial. I don't move my hand. I go all the way to 80. So again, right at zero. Next, I already installed the side bolts, and these are new. Uh, link in the description for those bolt part number, and I just gotta tighten those up. And these are to 18 foot pounds. No angle measurements on these. Alright guys, got all the caps installed. We're just gonna make sure it spins good. Oh yeah. Still spins really nice. We're good to go. Alright guys, that's it. We got the crankshaft installed in the 6.0, all torqued up, ready to go. So make sure to stay tuned. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Make sure to do so so you don't miss anything on this build. Um, as I got just ordered some more parts as well a big item, so you wanna stay tuned to see what I picked out for that. So we'll catch you in the next one, peace.